countries with large current account deficits have taken a hit on the currency. And these include South Africa, Brazil, Mexico, Chile, Turkey. Since India has a large current account deficit, the rupee is taking a hit. But I don't think there is any reason for panic. Please remember, between August 2011 and, uh, say, July 2012, the rupee depreciated from about 44 or 45 to about 55 rupees to a dollar. Then, from August 2012, to nearly the end of May 2013, the rupee was remarkably stable between 54 and 55. For nearly 10 months, the rupee was remarkably stable. Since then, of course, I believe due to a misinterpretation or a misunderstanding of Ben Bernanke's statement and some other factors, all countries with a large current account deficit have taken a hit on their currency. But that does not mean the rupee will continue to depreciate. The rupee will find its level. We are concerned about the volatility. I think steps are being taken to ensure that there is no volatility, but the rupee will find its level. And it's quite possible that the rupee will regain some of the losses it has suffered in the last few days.